many small independent businesses have suggested that they are disproportionately impacted upon uh, and some have suggested that the viability of their businesses may be at risk uh, uh, when this scheme comes in. Minister, were these concerns factored into the Scottish Government's initial impact assessments so, such that they were known about and the Scottish Government knew these would be concerns? Uh, or are these concerns new to the Government? Uh, is the member referring to concerns from small retailers or small producers? Because, of course, one is in receipt of fees and the other pays the fees. Uh, I'm uh, concerned about both, but the point that I'm making is many small businesses, whether producers or retailers, have suggested their businesses are at risk from the DRS scheme. Were these risks known about and factored in by the Scottish Government when it was putting this scheme together? Or have these concerns come as a surprise to the Government following the implementation and publication of the details of the scheme? Uh, the scheme that we've got in Scotland as passed by the Scottish Parliament back in 2020 is very much in line with schemes around the world. So in terms of nothing is a surprise, what we're doing here is exactly along the lines of what is being done in other countries. The, both, well, I'll address the producers and retailers separately. So on the producer side, the intention, of course, is to be, is to be fair to all producers, to have a fair scheme, but it is absolutely a proportional scheme. Fees to the scheme are based on, sorry, I've got to get the data in front of me. Um, it is based on, it is proportionately because it, uh, producer fees are charged for each individual container. So it will be proportionate inherently to the size of business. So a small producer like a craft brewery will pay significantly less than a larger producer. Now, the uh, additional cash flow measures that Circularity Scotland announced, I think it was, was it two weeks ago now or three weeks ago now, um, are benefit all producers, but proportionally small producers more. So this is when we pass the regulations in Scotland, we passed something that was similar to other countries, and then it is up to the businesses themselves, as, we, as I discussed when answering the other member's question, to sort of manage that push and pull between the producers who pay in and the retailers who, who take those fees. So let me just be clear, Minister, because I asked you a very direct question. Mm -hmm. you, the Scottish Government knew then, from what you're saying, because you looked around the world and you looked at what was happening elsewhere, the Scottish Government knew that small retailers would be disproportionately impacted and some businesses' viability would be threatened. That, that is not what I said at all. What I said so is you what, didn't do that? What I said we're doing is what our scheme here is I know what you're doing, Minister. I'm asking other... you a direct question. Did you know that small retailers would be disproportionately intacted, impacted and their businesses would be threatened, or did you not? Did the Scottish Government not know I don't agree that? with the members' uh, representation there that small businesses are disproportionately um, impacted. The measures we put in place have been to support small, small producers particularly. And I can go through those again. The measures we put in place to small producers specifically to support them. One of them is this proportionality of producer fees so that small producers have the same proportionality as large ones because it's per individual container. Sir. Equally, there's the cash flow measures, measures which specifically help small producers. In terms of small retailers, our fees for manual return points are the highest in the world for our small retailers. So our small retailers, those who operate those manual return points, are better off than their compatriots around the world. So we are doing more for small businesses with our scheme than other schemes around the world which are highly successful. So I do not agree with the member's representation of that at all. Just okay, thank you. Um, I think that's taken that as far down there as it's going to go.